Welcome to Eyes of Netflix. I'm Ezra. In this video, I'll be breaking it down from our technical analysis and other flow to see where God gave us our next impulsive wave, either to the upside or to the downside. So, from this monthly time frame, we can actually see that God is bullish. So, neglecting what is actually happening within this range, right? Good has been bullish. You can see bullish order flow. Market would be in more of what bullish order block to the upside. So this is clearly order flow to the upside. All right. So since we are bullish on this good, what do we expect market to do? To give us what bullish continuation. All right. So. Neglecting what is happening on lower time frame, we expect the market to trade into what one of the what uh, major POIs for us to what expect more reprice to the what upside. So let's look at what market is actually doing on weekly time frame. So going to weekly time frame, this is our trading range, and market has already traded into this what former POI right here my POI right here so since market has already traded into this POI it gave us what a reaction to the upside a reaction to the upside market supposed to take this high right here but it failed to take the high so if it failed to take the high that means market is that's seeking what the buy side liquidity which is this upside here or the downside liquidity which is this low right here so since market is seeking for one of those liquidity what do we do for what do we do? We react based on price. We react based on price. So on lower time frame, market has been in bearish order flow. So since it has been in bearish order flow on lower time frame, we follow that lower time frame order flow. All right. So looking from the quote data, let's see what market is actually telling us based on fundamental. So right here on the quote report, uh, based on the English data and the recent data on the board, so you can actually see that the long position is actually what they're reducing. So if they are reducing the what the long position on good itself, uh, this actually shows that good would be becoming what weaker against USD. Now looking at the USD also, USD. They was also decreasing their long position. This actually shows that USD will also be weak. But this showing weakness and weakness does not actually mean the market can actually go into consolidation. There can still be what a trend happening. So the main thing is when markets are based on uh, code that is not in your favor, you focus on your technical analysis, even when it's in your favor. So you focus on what your technical analysis so that you have the upper hand in the market. All right now the short position on good here is also decreasing so the uh, percentage in the short position you can actually see it here the percentage in the long position you can actually see it here also so the net position is also reducing this actually shows that good is approaching what is strong uh, uh, a strong what sponsored candle for what a possible buy move. So the same thing on USD. They are decreasing their what their long position, increasing their what their short position. So based on that and everything, so that means on this higher time frame, we'll be looking for what a little bullish move on good within this week right so from the previous analysis on this good what i expected which i spent here we expected a bearish move we expected uh around this area we said we'll look for a little buy right here market did not give us what any intraday reason for us to look for that buy so that means we'll focus on the sell more so which market gave us what a clean inducement based on this little range right here from this higher high and this higher low so market give us what a little uh, inducement 
and a possible buy move on intraday time frame, which was very, very clean and straightforward. Market traded into the last or the previous what area we expect with a bearish trend. It traded exactly at that area we marked. So which you can actually see here on hourly time frame. So we had this zone, a refined zone here, but market not traded into the refined zone, but it was able to touch the bigger range we highlighted right here on the chart. So market is actually uh, giving a sell right there. So based on what we're actually expecting, the week we're actually expecting what more bearish trend right here for market to trade into this nearest area before we see what market will give us a possible what reversal entry on lower time frame. That top reversal entry, we don't look for that buy. So until there's what a clear reversal button and the main thing is what you focus on how to follow order flow all right so that is very the that is uh an important thing that you need to watch focus on so that is all for today's session so stick to the channel while we update you more on other pairs good luck good training see you guys in our next session